Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be focusing on applying the stripes to a motorcycle gas tank. Now I've already done a video in the past on applying the stripes uh, to motorcycle bodywork, but I wanted to do another video just to kind of have a second video on uh, how to apply the stripes to cover any um, details that I had missed in the past video. So if you want to watch the first video I did, just look at my um, my playlist and you'll see a, another video where I'm applying stripes to a red gas, to a red CBX gas tank. This tank is for, a, uh, is for an 80 CBX and it's in black. And uh, as some of you may know, the 80 in the U.S. anyway came in red and black. So uh, the stripes are, are a decal type of stripe that's got two uh, layers on it. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm peeling off the, the back layer of the decal, which is where the tacky side, where the uh, downside goes. And it's kind of tacky, so what you have to do is you have to wet it and get some soap on there so that the stripe can be uh, maneuvered around the tank. And as you can see here, I'm I'm putting it uh, in its, you know, my first attempt of locating it properly. And as you'll see here in a second, I uh, didn't really have it located properly, so I peeled it back up again and repositioned it. And you can do that as long as it's nice and wet and very soapy. I use Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid, and it really works well. And I know there is some decal gel uh, material out there, but... Uh, you know, there's really nothing like soap and water. So the nice thing about soap and water is it evaporates real easily and so on. So um, once it's on there, then you get a, a like a auto body squeegee like I have here in the in the yellow auto body squeegee. And as you can see, I had to peel the stripe back up and reposition it. And again, that's real easy to do if you have it very wet and very soapy. Uh, you know, it, it takes a while for it to dry one, you know, before you squeegee it. So once you've squeegeed the water out of there, it's a little more difficult to peel it back up. So anyway, you get it positioned properly, line it up, and this is true with any motorcycle uh, stripe kit. <clears throat> or any car stripe kit for that matter. This could be apply, applied to car decals as well that are going to be cleared over. So once you have it positioned properly, you want to squeegee all the, the as much of the moisture out from underneath the stripe as possible. And then you just kind of wipe it down with some paper towel to get it to adhere, to get it to stick to the paint. And by the way, you have to wet sand the paint till it's dull. You don't want any shiny areas because the decal will not stick to the shiny areas. So then once you've squeegeed it, then you can peel off the top paper as I'm doing here. And as you do that, you want to squeegee out any bubbles that, that may appear. And you want to have the squeegee... Uh, nice and wet as well so that it it doesn't stick to the decal and rip it or pull it up. So you just want to kind of work out any bubbles and then start to dry the decal as you go. And if you see any bubbles, then you want to you want to be able to squeegee those out before the decal dries, because once it dries, then there's no getting a bubble out. You've pretty much have to live with the bubble or start over with the new decal. I'm working out a couple of little tiny bubbles here, and again, they come out real easily 
while it's still wet. But once you get all those out, then you want to you want to dry it as quickly as possible so that it's on there permanently. And then on the bottom there, I have to peel back some of the paper from the painter. But then you just want to re-wet it. And then just kind of crease it and down under the tank like I'm doing there. Sometimes you kind of have to hold it in place for a second so that it adheres. And you want to just kind of keep dabbing it to make sure that it's not sticking up anywhere. You want to make sure that it's securely adhered to the tank. So then once that's done, you start on the other side. And again, you use Dawn. You just kind of get it nice and soapy and wet, like I had mentioned before. And I'm going to skip forward here with the rest of the stripes. And then now I'm applying the decal at the top of the tank. And then on the CBX, the bottom stripes are a little intimidating because they are not shaped exactly the way the tank is shaped. So you, you basically want to start from the front of the tank because on a CBX gas tank, the stripes are separated in the front by about a half inch, quarter to a half inch, something like that. And once you've located the stripes are, are printed out so that you want to start with that front gap first. And that will establish where the stripe lands on the side of the gas tank. And again, the stripe is not does not follow the, the exact contour of the tank, but it's close. So once you've located that front, you just let it lay naturally and don't force it in any direction, and then it'll be correct. And there's like a little body reveal just above the bottom of the tank, and you want to just have the stripe running along there relatively evenly. Again, it, it, it varies as the stripe continues to the back. And really, no two tanks are exactly the same, even from the factory, because the stripe is what establishes the shape, not the, not the shape of the tank. And the same process, you just squeegee it out, then peel off the top paper, and you should be good. And the loose end there at the end, you can you can apply that at any time. So, you know, don't uh, don't stress out about how the how the tail of the stripe is. You know, you can you can put it back up in there at any point. If you'll notice the other stripe, 
the tail of the stripe is still dangling there and sometimes you have to trim it but uh, you know you just re-wet it and then it'll it'll stick up underneath the tank a lot of times it's good to wait until the other the the rest of the stripe is firmly adhered and then it's uh, you don't run the chance of that peeling up so now I'm I'm installing the super sport emblem underneath the tank badge and for those of you who have other motorcycles that need decals the the process is exactly the same on any motorcycle gas tank as I mentioned before and then repeat to the other side and I'm going to jump past here and as you can see here as I mentioned before I'm I'm establishing the gap up there which in in the CBX's case those stripes do not connect some you'll see some tanks that are connected there but that isn't correct the stripes are designed to have that gap and the gap establishes the exact location of the bottom stripe, as I mentioned before. So again, this, this video is a repeat of a previous video, as I mentioned, and it's a relatively short video. And this is pretty much the, the end of the video here. And uh, I will be showing you the clear coat and there it is finished now the tank is ready to to give back to the body shop so that they can clear coat it now that the black tank has not been clear coated yet so i'm going to show you a, a video a, a portion of the previous video of the red tank after it was clear coated and you can see here it just comes out absolutely gorgeous once the tank is clear coated so that's going to do it for this video. And uh, again, as usual, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. It really helps support the channel. And I'll be having uh, more videos soon. Thank you for again for watching. Thank you.